and it will be a slow recovery for those folks across Kentucky in those tornado ravaged areas. But they're tough. Americans are tough and they'll come back and uh, build back better than ever. As far as our weather here in the upstate, nice and quiet today. No severe weather and a nice recovery in temperatures after that cold start in the 20s and 30s. We hit 60 in downtown Greenville, 59 in Newberry, 57 in Clemson and Asheville at 59 degrees outside right now. Clear as a bell but cold and good visibility. So your travels to work and school tomorrow morning should be a OK as far as the weather goes. Already dipping to 34 in Lawrence, 36 in Union, still hanging on at 45 in Greenville, already down to 32 in Asheville. So another night of freezing temperatures and tomorrow after that cold start, a nice recovery, normally 55. I'm thinking around 63 for the upstate for the mountains, normally 52. I'm thinking 60 for you. And then tonight, remember a special treat that Geminid meteor showers best after 2 a.m. The best viewing because the moon will be setting about 50 to 100 meteors per hour. You can look anywhere in the sky. Just bundle up. It's going to be cold with temperatures in the 30s as we are looking at clear skies right now. Thanks to high pressure planted right over the East Coast. So all the East Coast seeing clear skies. That's the case farther to the West and certainly great news for recovery efforts and cleaning up after the tornado from Kentucky into Arkansas. At least the weather is cooperating. However, there's a big storm crashing onto the West Coast. Rain and high elevation snow here. It's this energy that could trigger severe weather again for the Plains Wednesday into Thursday. Let's hope it's not going to be as bad as it was Friday. I don't think it will be. But future cast rain and clouds as we go through the overnight. We have the clear skies, so great for checking out the meteors. And then for Tuesday after that cold start, we're warming into the 60s as we go through the day. You can see the clock moving, but nothing in the way of clouds. I think we will see some clouds a little bit later on into the evening and tomorrow night as we have high pressure overhead. And that high is going to hang tough through the week. It's going to warm up. We'll see some clouds. The rain stays away, but then that route starts to break down with the weak front building in as we go into Thursday and Friday. That falls apart. A little bit of moisture tries to work in later Friday, but I think a better chance of rain moves in Saturday on into Sunday. Won't be a washout. We need the rain, not the best timing, and maybe ending as a little bit of snow across the higher terrain right now not look, looking like a big storm and then moving into Monday it looks like we do start to dry out and cool off but tonight it's going to be chilly 32 clear skies and for the mountains 28 for you looking at some local spots tomorrow lower 60s and more in Cowpens around 63 in Greer Hartwell 64 for you Abbeville 63 and Liberty 62 and into the mountains even warmer after that chilly start 60 in Hendersonville 59 in Bermuda we do get up to 63 tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, a little cooler Wednesday, but then a big bounce back Thursday into Friday 71 Saturday 70 with those showers. Showers continue into Sunday. Note the cool down into the 50s and for the mountains. You're looking at 60 on Tuesday, a little cool down Wednesday and then warming through the 60s for you and then for the weekend right now. Just plain rain showers, not looking like the white stuff, just plain rain, but it will be turning cooler into early next week. Make sure Sure you tune in bright and early tomorrow morning. The morning news beginning at 4 30 and goes all the way till 10. Get the very latest on news traffic and weather. Meteorologist Nicole Pape will have their very latest on this beautiful forecast at that time.